everyone. Welcome to Leisure Life Live. I'm Veronica. And I'm Sarah Green. And we are here today to talk all about these fun projects that we have on the table. We come to you live every Thursday at 4 p.m. Central on Leisure Life Live where we talk about craft experiences and product experiences. And this month we're, we're talking all about sparking uh, your creativity. So we're going to talk about sparking creativity with the crafts that you already do and also sparking creativity maybe with a craft that you haven't tried yet. So maybe it's an old favorite craft and we'll talk about like different twists and different things that you can do with your favorite craft if it's like knitting or crocheting or, or anything else. But um, then we'll also talk about some different things you can try later on. So first, Sarah is gonna tell us all about these adorable little guys. Look at this octopus, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Well, this is amigurumi, which in Japanese means little doll. Okay, yeah. so like little, little stuffed animals, animals, right? Yes. And they don't always have to be crocheted, right? Well, the, there are knit amigurumis, and, but crochet seems to lend itself to the construction of such little guys like this little mermaid. And we have all kinds of uh, sea animals in here, like Veronica said, this is so adorable. I love it. And we have a grumpy crab. <laughs> but the main thing that lends it to amigurumi is that you could make this fabric so tight by crocheting very tightly so that the stuffing that gives it its uh, structure mm -hmm. will not show through. And they're perfect for taking out somewhere because you make parts. You you know you'll make like the shell, and you'll make all these legs, and you can just make parts while you're at the park, <laughs> or at the shore, or at the beach. <laughs> so you're saying that? So to me, I look at these projects, and I think that these look really difficult. But you're saying these are not hard to make? No, they're not. They're just. If you know anything about crochet, single mm -hmm. crochet is one of the most basic stitches in uh, crochet and these are all single crochets okay they're all single crochets uh, maybe a little bit of uh, half doubles down here but you can't see it because all the beautiful buttons that are the suckers but you just make them very tightly and you pick out beautiful colors I love the whale <laughs> but they just really lend themselves to portability. You okay. can just make several pieces, and when you get home, you stuff them very tightly, and then you, you're through. They're super cute, and I love this mermaid. Uh, what's cool about this mermaid is you can change the hair out if you want it to look like your daughter or granddaughter. Um, you know, you can customize this. So, oh, yeah. you know, you can make it look like Ariel with red hair <laughs> and, and, you know, the green and the purple or you can uh, make it however you want. So that's really neat. So I think that this might be a fun thing too to teach someone uh, young, you know, kids are out of school for the summer. Sure. So what else can we do if we've got kids that are home looking for summer crafts <laughs> and we have some yarn laying around? Well, is what this else? a good thing? Oh, this is a good thing. All it right. uses up scraps. If you have scraps of yarn, everybody I know has a yarn stash. And everybody I know has got yarn left over. There you go. So you can use up little bits and pieces of uh, leftover yarn to make all these things. I mean, wouldn't she look cool in variegated hair? Oh gosh, that'd be <laughs> super cute, like rainbow. That yeah. would be super fun. So that is in this book here, The Water Babies Amigurumi, and it, you can find it at your favorite craft store, um, or you can find it online at Amazon or leisurearts.com, and it's 7084. So this one is super fun. So that's obviously a fun summer craft. What else do you have? I see a lot of uh, really giant loopy yarn over here. This is yarn that you can find in just about any craft store these days. It's yarn that has built-in loops like this. And all of these projects here, and I believe Veronica, you have one there. I do have one. She's got a diaper cover. They, these are all made with this loop yarn and it does not require hooks needles not anything like that it's just a yarn like this 
Can you show us how to, because I'm sure a lot of us have seen this and wondered what the heck what, you do with this. What do you it. do with this? <laughs> so well, show us what you do with this, Sarah. Well, you lay it out and you decide how many loops that you're going to use. And you just pull them through. And that is basically all you have to do. You have to make sure you're not twisted up, but you pull all the loops through. Kind of reminds me of those uh, old fashioned uh, pot holders that people used to make on a loom. Okay. Because they had all these loops and these loops will be used when you turn your yarn around to make another row. So as you come across, once you get to the end of the row, you just turn this yarn around and you go that direction. Oh, nice. Isn't that neat? And all oh, the, in this lush though feel of it's so how. soft and so you can find this pretty much at any craft store i think every store has their own version of this loop yarn mm -hmm. um and so we have two new books right mm -hmm. the baby loops twist and the loops and twists and i think um we were talking before this started that this would be a really great first project for a kid yes um so if you do if you want to teach uh kids how to use yarn, or if you want to use yarn, but you want to put down your needles, you just want to try something new and easy, mm -hmm. really repetitive, but you can make some really fun things out of there. What are some fun, so show us some of these fun things we can make. Well, we've got right here, we have a penguin, which is so a cute. pillow, and he's, he's solid color on the back. So you learn how to change colors when you make him, and oh, he's, so cushy. He, it's just beyond belief how fun that is. And then you just use a little bit of the yellow to make his little feet. This is a pet bed. Oh, fun. And believe me, we had problems getting the cats off of this <laughs> because they want. They thought they found Mama again because it is so cushy. And it's this one's probably one of the more complicated um, patterns in this and it's not hard at all because it's just two pieces and then you work back and forth around the edge of it to get this rolled. And because the yarn is so thick, uh -huh. I bet it just comes together a lot quicker than oh, you gosh, think. Oh gosh, yes. So Marco is with us today and he's got a couple of questions for us. Yes, so what are, um, McDowell asked, um, do y'all have the yarn on the site? So we do not actually sell this specific yarn on our website, but like I said, you can find it at any craft store. And uh, we do have just the two books, the Loops and Twists book, which has, um, it has this pet bed in it. It's got this little basket that all this yarn is in. And then there are some fun projects like this simple little scarf the and rug. this rug. And so uh, it has a lot of, practical fun items general everyday mm -hmm. use whereas the baby loops and twists book it gives you inspiration for things like this um the penguin that you saw yes. earlier but th i think this is great because we all have you know whether we're going to the pool or the beach if you have a baby or uh, you're watching someone else's baby this fun thing it you can basically have everything you need to take care of baby right in here. You can have your diapers on one side, your wipes, wipes and other things, a little blanket all on the other side, and then you just pop this in your beach bag and you're ready to go and it's super soft. And I mean, honestly, you could probably take everything out and you Put know, the use a little changing table. <laughs> I'm all about practical and reuse. Yes. So, and, you know, this washes, I'm sure, right? Oh, so yes. you could just throw it in the washing machine oh, yes. when you got back from the beach if it got sandy. And then I love did that. You, did you see this wonderful cocoon here? I did, and that is um, a little sleep sack, so you can use that. Mm -hmm. I know we loved our sleep sack when oh, Eva gosh, was, yes. when our daughter was, who's now sixteen almost. But uh -oh. <laughs> back in the day, those sleep sacks they uh, they save your life before you can put that blanket in there. So, yeah. um, so let's say that you do not even want to craft with yarn this summer. If you want to put the yarn away, it's summer, you're not really a yarn crafter, 
We have some fun other things that you can do that are not craft related. So one of the books um, that is really fun and imaginative is this Fidget to Focus book. You want to show us that book a little bit? Sure. So uh, what's neat about this book is it is, um, it's great for kids and adults who need a little help focusing. So, um, and it's a great first sewing project. I have, I brought this one here because there's, there's uh, kid versions, you know, very like loud and fun, big cubes, but this one is really neat because, um, you know, it's a great first sewing project or great easy sewing project. And every, every single one of these squares offers different activities. Like this one, you can move the, uh, the beads, um, you can place pictures in here, and you can actually do practical things with this too. Like I know, um, you know, uh, you can put pictures of friends sure. and family. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're trying to teach kids who their, you know, who their aunts and uncles are and stuff. Um, and how to use a pocket. Right, and how to use, <laughs> use a pocket, pocket. And what I a mean, pocket is. Yeah. Right, right. But you know, everyone's a little different. We've got all different ones. If you want to teach them to tie their shoes, but you don't want to actually bend down and tie a shoe. Uh, this is a great little yeah. thing they can do while they're sitting at a table or you know in the car. So uh, really fun but practical too. Zippers, you. Know. Um, so anyway, this is just one example, but there mm -hmm. are several in that book. So that that's a fun thing. Um, stitchery. So I know we've talked about our mini maker stitchery lines before. This one it just reminds me of summer because of the bike and okay. everything you need to get started is in here. The hoop the floss, uh, and this bicycle is actually printed on here. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, so it is printed and ready to go. So you can just take this whole thing to the beach with you, throw in a pair of scissors, and I think you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, these just, are. Those are, I think that's wonderful that the hoop that you actually use becomes the frame for it. Right. Yeah, I think that is that is so neat because that's kind of a, that's mm -hmm. kind of retro. Yeah. Because I remember when using the little <laughs> hoops like this. But we've given them a modern twist. You know, yes. we've got I think about a dozen of them now and we've kind of we've you know, we've done the retro thing and we've mm -hmm. kind of modernized them and they're super fun and if you've never done embroidery or stitchery before, it's a it's a great first project. And I know that they're the instructions in there are really clear. Mm hmm And let's say you just want to do something easier. And you're not looking to spend a whole lot of time, and you just want something that's mindless. You want to get your mind off of everything. I'm all for mindless. <laughs> well, our favorite mindless activities are diamond art and our sparkle art. So this is a sparkle art design. We actually created these for kids, but they're fun because you know, heck, we find that we say from kids to eight to ninety-eight because um, every everyone we know really yeah. enjoys these patterns. So we have this dolphin, and this dolphin um, is super sh shiny and sparkly, mm -hmm. and you can you know, frame it, hang it on your wall, you can put it on a bag, put it on a pillow, do all sorts of fun things. We have a whole bunch of ideas for uh, diamond art projects on our oh, website yeah. right now, so check those out because those are a lot of fun. And let's say you don't even want to do that. <laughs> We've got more ideas. And by the way, we didn't mention this earlier, but all of these books and projects that we're talking about today are part of our Spark Your Creativity giveaway. So it's on our Facebook page now and on our website. You wow. can win every single one of these books or um, activity sets. So in addition to um, this fun coloring book, now if you want to learn more about this coloring book, Last week's episode with Tana and Megan talked all about the flowers in this book and how this book can be used as a treasure hunt. So, oh, really? yeah, so um, this book is super fun. It's kind of like a part sketchbook, part journal, part coloring book. So, we've got this, and then we also have two sets of pencils to give away with this. So, these pencils are available on our site, they are um, premium pencils which are a nice high quality colored pencil. And then these watercolor pencils, which there's a brush in there as well, so you can actually uh, put the color on and then you can use the brush to make it look like watercolor. I love the blend with the, with the watercolor yeah, pencils. They it, are wonderful. And it's just gonna be beautiful in this book, especially because this book is just, it's a 10 by 10, so it's a little oversized. And it's got these beautiful um, 
large spaces so that watercolor effect will look really, really pretty. And um, speaking as a former custom framer, yes, the 10 by 10 size is a standard size okay. in a lot of craft stores now, so yeah. they would you can find the perfect frame. For right, it. right, right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and last but definitely not least, we've got um, you know our wellness type crafting. So anywhere from our painting with happy abstracts to our making give series. Now these making give series books, we have three of them. We have a candle making, a soap making, and the home apothecary. And with Home Apothecary, it's kind of, you know, different types of perfumes and bath salts and bath bombs, bath melts, all different uh, fun things for your bathroom. And then your soap and your candles kind of go around the house. And we have some of the stuff back here. So tell us about this volcano candle. You had this in your <laughs> office. Yes, I, I, I glommed onto this <laughs> real quick. Isn't it beautiful? The, all the different layering. I don't know that much about making them, though. I haven't looked at the book that much, but well, maybe you can help me yeah, with that. Yeah, <laughs> so the instructions are very easy, and the great thing about this book is that Stephanie Rose, who did this book, she took really great step-by-step -step photos, so it's not just instructions. It's like she's right there with you, and she just walks you through step-by-step, -step and it shows you how to make each of these candles. So, you know, I mean, you don't have to like, you know, I always find great ideas on Pinterest, but the problem is, is like, I, the you instructions aren't always really, really no. good, so I don't always know how to make them. But with this, the instructions are fantastic, and there's a picture for every single step. I love this one, and I actually tried <laughs> I'm, to find this one, but we couldn't. So these are our shells. Now I know when we went to Maine last year, we picked up a bunch of shells on the beach, and I think it would be super fun to make little candles and then put them in a pail uh -huh. and give them as a gift. And that's the cool thing about this book, is that in addition to having, like making all the candles and the bath bombs and the soaps, we actually have fun gift ideas for every single one of those candles. So, um, you know, ideas on how to package it. So that volcano yeah. candle of yours, here's the step-by-step -step instructions. And then a fun little way to package it to give it as a gift. So um, it would make a beautiful Valentine's Day gift. Mm -hmm. Actually, love is what it says. Yeah, on the, the, box. <laughs> yeah. the colors though. Mm -hmm. I just love how it it just blends so well. And you know, a few of these soaps in here. So this is the uh, home soap making. And so these gemstone soaps, I think, are pretty cool. I just think those are cool, and I really, there's a lime soap in here that I think is really fun, too. Oh, um, look at that. Yeah, well, that, that's a loofah sponge. That's a loofah sponge. Loofa sponge. That's a loofah sponge, yeah. so you actually can make your loofah part of your soap. That would be great. Yeah, and then we'll show one more in here. Let's see. Well, here's the lemon bliss, and the soap on a rope. You remember soap on a rope? Oh, no. <laughs> It is getting close to Father's Day, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's like we were talking about earlier, Retro. Here's the lime and coconut one I was talking about. Uh, uh, that's these are not to eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they look good enough to eat, but these but, you are know, not to eat. When you make them yourselves, though, you don't have to worry about, you know, if someone does accidentally eat them, they're all natural. <laughs> they are. But don't eat them. Yeah. yeah that's the best. And then we saved, I think the most beautiful for last is this, this um, happy abstract book. And we have a few sample pieces here, but uh, this is from uh, Jessie Rowlett. And the cool thing about this book, just like Stephanie, is she does a great job of not only inspiring you, but really walking you through step by step. And in this case, stroke by stroke, she talks about the color wheel. She talks about how you blend colors. So even if you've never painted before, this is like, you know, I mean, she, she walks you through choosing a color palette um, and she literally walks you through stroke by stroke. So, I mean, anyone can learn to paint with this, with this book and you can kind of see back here some of the different abstract paintings that are in that happy abstract book. And my favorite part of this book is actually you can put this on your coffee table and never even use it and still get to use these beautiful paintings because at the back we've got some uh, cardstock pages and they're perforated so there are these fun little calling cards that you can add to a gift or oh, little note cards that you can send 
And so they have like fun inspirational phrases on them. So they say things like, you know, a picture is a poem without words, uh, creativity is contagious, pass it on from Albert Einstein. So, you know, there's just like fun little quotes and stuff in here. So um, tell us below what your favorite summer craft is. And uh, we're gonna choose a winner from, um, from our actual, no, sorry wow. about that. There we are. We're gonna choose a, a winner from our Rafflecopter giveaway. So you should be able to um, scroll below. It should be right under yeah. this, uh, this Facebook Live post. And um, yeah, so this, these are all the fun things you have. If you have any ideas, what do you like to do in the summer? What are your favorite summer crafts? And uh, we will see you guys next Thursday at 4 p.m. here on Facebook. And everyone have a great weekend. Yeah, bye. bye. Happy crafting.